Hello guys, welcome back to Ted Mr's YouTube channel. So Luis, my name is Alba Kazakawi and this is the third video in my Cocoach DB database setup and usage guide. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create the Cocoach DB database on the Cocoach Labs platform. So if you've been following the tutorial, that's the playlist so far. This should be the page that you'll be on. And um if you haven't watched the previous video i would suggest that you should go and watch it because i explained how you can create a free account which is what led us to this page right here so the next thing that you need to do now from here is just click on create cluster now as you can see like i told you earlier they have different plans that are available we have the serverless and then we have the dedicated and then we have the dedicated advanced so um since i'm going to be focusing on the free plan i'm going to select this first one right here and then uh, the next option you can select a cloud provider so there are two we have aws and google cloud you can select whichever one you want as you can see the price doesn't change so let's say i want to use google cloud it will offer me different regions which you can select from you just select the one that is closer to you as you can see if you click on AWS as a cloud provider the regions are different as well so let's say let me use AWS for example then we have um, suspending limits I won't focus on this since we are sticking to the free plan then we have the cluster name it automatically creates a cluster name for you but you can edit it to something else if you want uh, I'm just going to leave it as it is right now so the next step that you need to take is click on create your free cluster this is going to take um, a couple of seconds if you look at the background right here you can see it's creating your cluster for you so after this cluster has been successfully created it's going to show you this right here create sql user so it automatically grabs your name that's the name that you added when you were creating your account you can change it to something else if you want but i'm going to leave it as it is so the next thing you need to do is click on create generate and save password okay when you click on this it's going to show you uh, generate a password for you which you can use by the way um i have written an article on the post this process as well you can find that article right here on my website i will leave a link down to it on the description as well so as you can see it explains the same process currently you can see we are right here right now create a free cluster right here then generate sql user we are in step five um, the article so it generates click on generate and save password so um, as you can see now the thing that you need to do is you need to take note of this password so copy it and save it somewhere like maybe if me for example i'm going to be saving it in my notepad right here because you're going to need this password to add to your connection string that you now use to connect to your database so let me come back and then click on next now it's going to show you this right here now from here you can see we still have our sql username default database now this is where you might want to change things like for example let's say you can select the language in which you are working on remember i told you that i'll show you guys how you can use it on different um, frameworks like um, platform uh, different frameworks like django flax next.js so uh, let's say for example when you are working on a django project obviously the language that you're going to be using is python so you can just come here and select python if you are working on next.js it's going to be javascript slash typescript right here so you can see there are many other options we have python cocoach db clients Cocoach Cloud CLI, Go, Java, Ruby. So you can select whichever one you, one you want. So let's say I want to use that of Python. If you scroll down, if you've worked with databases in Python, then you know about the DG underscore database underscore URL pip package. Now, this uh, package is what allows you to connect to a database using a connection string on Django. So um, if you don't know what it's about then just subscribe to the channel I promise in the next video I will show you guys how to set up the package and how to use it along with using this connection string to connect to the CocoachDB database that we just um, created 
as you can see this is the connection string right here this is what it looks like right here so you can just click on copy so first of all as you can see we are using cycle pg2 if you work with django you know what cycle pg2 is so um you just copy this and you save it right here so this is the connection string that we are going to be using this one right here as you can see it already grabbed the password for us but sometimes it doesn't grab the password so you have to copy this password and paste it but um, this time it has grabbed the password for us so this is the connection string that we are going to be using to connect to that CoCoachDB database so if let's say for example you want to use okay look at this is Django select to we have Django here this is just to show you that DJ database URL package that I told you about can you see import DJ database URL then this is the way you specify the database I'm not going to explain too much about uh, how you configure the database in Django I will leave that to a separate project so I just wanted to show you guys how you can get the connection string in which you can use to connect to this CoCoachDB database so uh, that's all so far we've set up the database and in this section right here as you can see this shows you your usage that's uh, as you can see so far we've used zero gigabyte or five gigabytes that we get and then we've used 14.2 k of 10,020 million request units so um, as you start using the database those will be increasing and remember like i said in the introductory video the free plan when you are selecting the free plan is normally used for maybe basic projects or maybe like your portfolio project things like that if you are building a business then please ensure to contact cocoach tp or you can use the dedicated plan or if maybe your business is more advanced then you can conclude, uh, contact cocoach db and you guys will come up with a plan that will be suitable for your needs so that's just all for this video so so far like i said we've been able to set up the database so in the next video now i'm going to show you guys how you can use that connection string in a django project so um i'll see you guys in the next video then